Hey everybody, my name is Phil. I'm part of the marketing team here at Madrock Climbing, and I want to introduce you to our lineup of shoes. Here at Madrock, we carry shoes that are all around, non-specialty shoes that are good at everything, all the way to the high performance specialty shoes that are great at specific forms of climbing and excel in different terrain. So if you look at the bottom of this wall here, we're looking at the Rovers and the Phoenix, which lie in the category of neutral shoes or our neutral family of shoes. These shoes you can expect to be more symmetrical, a little more comfier, and offer a little bit more stability for the underfoot of the shoe. If you move one row up, we're looking at what we would consider the moderate category or the moderate family of shoes with the Remora and the Sharks. Fun fact, Remoras are little fish that swim with sharks in the ocean, so you can expect these shoes to go hand in hand with one another. The Remoras are great training slippers. There's no closure system on them, so we wouldn't expect you to move into any aggressive bouldering movements such as a heel hook and a pure slipper shoe. However, they're great for training, they're great for strengthening your toes, and if you're looking for a quick gym session or training session, the Remoras are gonna be the go-to shoe in our category. The Shark complements the Remora really well. It's what we consider a split outsole design, which means you're getting climbing grade rubber in the forefoot and the heel of the shoe and ran rubber near the arch. The ran rubber underneath the arch section of the Shark is what we call the arch flex. The arch flex allows for the foot to maneuver in different ways and be a little bit more free flowing than say our next family of shoes, which I would say are the drones. The drones are going to be our highest performance, most aggressive, most downturn shoes. And even in the drone family, we have two different drones. We have the drone comps and we have the drone 2.0s. The drone 2.0s you can expect to be all around performance aggressive shoes. These are using our science fiction grade rubber, which is durable and stiff, great for indoor and outdoor. And it's also more downturned than its counterpart, the drone comps. The drone CS we specifically designed to be for indoor climbing, and we had competitions in mind where athletes are tackling large volumes with dual text features. However, we found pretty recently the drone CS performs really well on outdoor rock as well, especially when you're going to areas that have sandstone, for example, and you don't need to edge on very small holds because for that you might want to be going with the drones. The Joan Comp uses our newest rubber formula in the Extreme Friction. It's going to be found only in the Joan Comp series of shoes, and it's a softer, stickier compound compared to Science Friction, which you can find in the rest of our lineup. If we move to the right side of the wall, we're looking at the Redline Strap. The Redline Strap sits in a similar category or family as the Joan Comps, which is going to be the high performance competition family. The Redline is really special because it's our softest performing shoe, even though it doesn't use the softest rubber. Though the Redline strap uses science friction rubber, which is a bit stiffer and more durable than extreme friction, it also lacks a midsole, which means you're gonna be able to feel every single nook and cranny underneath your toe while you're climbing. So let's talk a little bit about why you would choose one shoe over the other. Why would you choose the Redline strap over the Drone Comp or the Drone Comp over the Shark? Let's start with the Redline Strap. The Redline Strap is a specialty shoe, it's high performing, and it's the competition category just like the Drone CS. However, if you're someone who loves sensitivity and feedback in your climbing, you would go for the Redline over the Drone Comp. The reason is, even though the Drone Comp uses our softest rubber, it still has a midsole, which is adding that one extra layer between your foot and the rock or the hole that you're on. The Redline doesn't have that whatsoever. So if you're looking for maximum sensitivity, maximum feedback, if you're someone who may or may not have trust issues with your feet and you wanna know that you're on the right foothold, the Redline Strap is the way to go. The Joan Comp, on the other hand, is for, if you might have guessed, a competition climber or an indoor climber. That's where you're gonna see the Drone CS excel the most. The Drone CS uses extreme friction rubber, which is softer and stickier than science friction rubber. So this is gonna be great for people who are primarily climbing indoors or on rock types that may not have small crystals and edges to really edge on with your toe. It really prioritizes surface contact. So if you're trying to put down a lot of rubber coverage onto a climbing hold, whether it's plastic or rock, you're really gonna get a lot of friction and performance out of the drone comp. Because of the midsole, you're also getting that much more stability underneath the shoe and that much more support compared to something like the Redline. Now let's jump down from the Drone CS to the Drone 2.0. This is a common question that we get all the time. Do I go for the comp series or do I go for the 2.0? At the end of the day, it really depends on what your preference is. 
But again, we go to the technology between the two. The Drone 2.0 uses science friction rubber, and that's going to be the biggest differentiating point between the shoe and the CS. Science friction rubber is our tried and true rubber. It's stiff, it's durable, it's going to allow you to edge and perform on small crystals and dimes really well, especially with the innovations that we made in our 2.0 version. If you're someone that wants a very aggressive downturn shoe, again, the 2.0's midsole is actually different from that of the Drone CS. Where the Drone CS midsole is still made of polycarbonate, just like the 2.0, it is a little bit flatter in shape. Versus the Drone 2.0, that has a polycarbonate midsole as well, is shaped a little bit more aggressively, so your foot's going to be in a downturn position permanently as long as you're in the shoe. Or even as we go down to the Shark, the Shark is a shoe that uses the Arch Flex technology, which means that your arch is going to be able to maneuver just a little bit more. You may not be getting the sensitivity and the feedback of a red line right underneath the toes, but if you want a shoe that can flex a lot with your foot, if you want something that's versatile, that's also where the Shark comes in handy. It excels in that area more so than the drones or even the drone comps because the drone comps and the drones have a midsole that restricts your foot just a little bit for it to maneuver freely. Going back to the family of shoes down at the bottom here with the Rover and the Phoenix, these shoes are going to be great transitions for those climbers who are coming from rental shoes straight into our retail shoes. There are some technological differences between the Rover and the Phoenix that really separate the two apart. First of all, let's talk about the obvious. If a climber prefers laces over Velcro straps or vice versa, it kind of seals the deal on what shoe you're going to be going for. The Phoenix is also our stiffest shoe. It's going to offer the most stability and support underneath the forefoot, which is great for beginner climbers or people who are trying to tackle longer sport climbs or multi-pitch climbs. The Rover is a great all-around shoe. It's going to be the one shoe that does everything well, but doesn't really specialize in anything specific. The Rover utilizes our compression molded toe cap and heel cup, similar to that of our drone models here. It also utilizes a modified version of the drone heel that Madrock is so famous for. The Rover is going to be perfect for climbers who are looking for one shoe to kind of do everything, or you want a shoe that's going to take you from that neutral beginner level to the intermediate advanced stage levels. For those of you who are transitioning straight from gym rental shoes straight to the Rovers, you're going to find a very familiar transition. The rental shoes in Madrox program are based off of US street shoe sizing, and that same sizing is what we utilize for our own shoes here in the shop. So if you're a size 7 or a size 8 in the rental shoe that you just climbed in at the gym, you're also going to be a 7 or an 8 here in Madrox as well, especially in the Rovers. If you look at our Rovers here, you'll also notice that we have a white and a black colorway. Those are just pure aesthetic differences. We want to give you, the climber, a choice on if you want a white shoe or a black shoe for your own customization. This changes when you start moving up the wall to the remoras and the drones. With the remoras and the drones, we use a system called high volume or low volume fits. High volume fits are for people with average to wider feet and bigger heels, and low volume is gonna be for people with narrower feet and smaller heels. And you can see that differentiation with the blue and the green colorway, specifically for the drone 2.0 and the remora as well. You can also see some of those slight color changes in the drone comps here, with the drone comp HV being that bright blue and the drone LV being that turquoise color. There's a lot of different reasons why you might choose one over the other, but if you really boil down your climbing into the style of climbing you do, the type of climbing you do, you should be able to find a shoe in the Madrock family. One common question we get here at Madrock is regarding our prices. And this really dives into the history of Madrock and our founders' beliefs. A core pillar here at Madrock is we want to keep climbing accessible to everybody. That's why on our wall, you'll never see a shoe that's priced above $200. So even when you look at our top tier high performance shoes in the drone comps or the red lines that stand at 149 or the rovers that go all the way down to $79, accessibility and keeping the sport open to all communities is really important for us here at Madrock. It really stems from our founder's history. Our founder didn't come from wealth. And so when he developed Madrock, he wanted to make sure that a core pillar we had here in the company is to keep climbing accessible. But don't be fooled, the lower than average price tag does not mean that we're sacrificing on materials or on quality. Innovation is also at the heart of Madrock. That's why we're industry leaders in new technology such as 3D compression molded parts. This is technology that we're spearheading. We know that it performs better than traditionally made shoes 
And that's why we're implementing it into most of our shoes right now and in the shoes moving forward. There's a famous quote from our founder, Young Chu, where he once said, making good climbing gear is not very hard, but making them at a very affordable rate is a big challenge. That really embodies the philosophy here that we have at Madrock. Madrock has full ownership of all of its factories, which means we have very little subcontractors or middlemen where we need to buy licensees from. What this means is that we're able to optimize the performance of our shoes and our innovations, while also optimize the efficiency of our production and our workflow. This is a unique scenario that we're able to be in because we can really see what it takes to accomplish that vision that Young Chu had for Madrock. We're here to create great climbing gear, great climbing shoes and hardware at an affordable rate, something that's gonna be a big challenge for us every year moving forward, but one mission that we're always gonna be committed to.